Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Avorian. So my ship's still doing its autopilot here. It's been going about 15 minutes. This is one of the hidden ores, so it has a shell around it. And then a big thick amount of ore in the middle. So it's right now mining it. It's been mining this one piece for a while. So you can see the density is crazy. I'm interested in seeing how much I'll get out of it. So here we go. Wow, that was 1600 uh, ore in just one thing. So it took out part of the shell, but I guess it's smart enough not to have to take out all the shell. So. That's actually really cool. So, yeah, that's the auto miner going. Last last episode, we uh, basically started out. We built our ship, uh, and uh, we did. Uh, did we do any hand mining with it? I don't even know. But basically, we sent it on its own to do its thing, which it worked out really well. So, awesome. Now, I wanted to just say these lasers here we have on here. Their efficiency of sixteen point three. So. I guess you could say, I, I don't know if it actually works out to be exactly that, but let's just say there's a thousand ore in this asteroid. More than, more than likely, 16.3% would be like, out of a thousand iron ore, it would grab, say, 163 of it um, out of there. That's my guess. It's in like a percentage. So, you know, 100 would be like 100%. Um, I actually don't know how it works like that. The only reason I think it probably would be something like that is because these standard lasers with refinement go up to about 30-ish, I think. Uh, where the R lasers, where you have to have actual cargo hold and storage and stuff on your ship, they go up to 90-ish from my understanding. And they're really efficient, really worth using, but you need a lot of cargo hold for the future for that. But uh, yeah, you can see this thing works really well. Let's go ahead and cancel it. Uh, so yeah, last time we you know built our ship, we, we got the hired the crew and the captain, and uh, it's done a really good job. We have twenty one thousand iron ore, eighteen hundred titanium. So we talked about upgrading your ship, and we could probably do that now. So if we go ahead and uh, we can use this fun function here, modify our entire ship. We can move this whole thing to titanium. We'll get this much iron back because it's equal trade, right? It's not it's not stealing from you in any way. So it's going to give you this much iron and that much back. Now, you could also scale your ship. So you can make this bigger and better in a sense. Now, scaling doesn't work perfectly. I just want to let you know, like, when you scale a ship, it, yeah, sure, it'll scale. But it won't work, like, in the sense of, um, you know, everything stat-wise will be the same except, you know, more in a sense. Uh, so don't just assume that. But anyways, we're going to move it to titanium. This will actually fix up some of our stats as well, which is awesome. And uh, it's a little more shiny. And you can paint your ship too if you didn't know that. So um, you can go like this and give it a coat of paint. Um, it's up to you. Um, you can also join the blocks together, which some blocks they work really well to join. Some others don't. Like I think thrusters like to give you pretty bad stats if you join them all. But the reason you join them up is if they're individual little blocks like this, they have more chance of breaking off. But if they're larger pieces, um, it kind of counts as like a, you know, hull integrity kind of thing. There's more there to protect it and less chance of it f basically breaking off. But uh, yeah, if you want to go ahead and just go like control A and select it all and merge selected blocks, you can see uh, it merging it. So it said here, it took 99 blocks and merged it to 31 blocks. So there's literally just 31 blocks there now uh, in total, which is pretty insane. So you can see how the texturing of the thrusters went together. Actually, the, it looks like they might have not even gotten affected too much. This steel thing steers pretty good, so that makes me happy. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for the ship stuff, um, which is pretty cool. So let's go and see what we're going to do. So on the map here, you got these quests you can do over time. Uh, you got delivery ones and things like that, distress call. These are ones that just pop up out of nowhere. And then you also have quests that you can grab from the actual different places if they have an exclamation mark. So this one wants resources. A lot of them I find are usually resource based, which is like, yeah. Uh, wanted, dead or alive, here's kill somebody. We're probably not going to be able to kill anyone yet, honestly. Um, as much as it would be fun, we're kind of still a bit of a lobby here. And they probably would send us to the uh, afterlife pretty darn quickly. Um, now, if you want to see the quest easier, it's sometimes easier just to use the end of the strategy view and zoom out uh, with your mouse wheel. And then you can kind of see everything in here, uh, which is which is pretty handy, I'd think. Now, um, let's go and uh, let's see what we want to do. It's up to you what you want to do, honestly. I'm not in a rush for anything. Um, I guess our friend wants to talk to us, right? Ships and strategies. 
Yeah, let's ch let's check this out. So if you enter sector here, it'll actually bounce. And this is kind of fun. This is uh, the hyperspace jump. We're just going to hold space and then we're just going to jump here. There we go. So this is, you know, safe space. They call it clear space, I guess. So basically your hyper uh, space jump window is, uh, you know, basically has a really short cooldown. But all of a sudden, if there's pirates in here, that cooldown would become very, very longer. And then you either need to run away or, you know, hope for the best. So answer. Okay, so the adventure is hailing us. We have to hit enter. Hi, thanks for coming. So I've tried everything to get your ship back, but I couldn't manage to do it. I'm truly sorry about that. But I want to make it up to you, so I have one of my ship's Lady Adventurous. Also, while we're at it, I'll show you quickly how to command ships that are in the same sector as you. Have you already found the strategy interface? It's really useful. I'll teach you. Open the strategy mode uh, with the strategy button, mode button. So that's the end key, by the way. And uh, read the encyclopedia entry if you haven't already. You can find important information there. Then order Lady Adventurous to escort you. If you're unsure, you can exit the strategy mode at any time and ask me again. So basically, we're going to go into here and we're going to have the lady. We're just going to select it and then we're just going to right click. And basically, she's escorting us now. Might as well get a little closer here. Wonderful. I believe you'll find even more use with the strategy mode. You can order your ships to do many things. They're uh, like flying locations, mining and docking for you. Uh, for simple tasks, you won't even need a captain. The ship's autopilot will do it for you. So why the captain then? Contrary to autopilot, uh, contrary to the autopilot, captains are highly skilled individuals who can work completely independently and who can do various different uh, long-term tasks like obviously mining. You have to assign them uh, a captain of the sh uh, assign the captain of a ship and then they're ready to go. They even give you a bonus for your ship depending on the class. And then the galaxy map you can give them many different orders such as flying trade routes for you, mining and salvaging long distance and even scouting sectors or going on expeditions. The crew of the Lady Adventurous has agreed uh, to work for you since I still owe you a ship. I like to sign her off too permanently. Maybe you can assign your new hire captain to her. Anyways, I'm off to look uh, for a way to cross the Great Barrier. Until next time. So that's actually a good, not a bad idea, actually. So let's take her back home here. So we're going to make this our home. I mean, it already has a, a home sign. I think it's the shipyard or something. You can set it up. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do add a note here. And we're just going to put a big star here. And that's just, you know, indication that's home for us. And so as far as I know, as long as she's in escort mode, she should follow me to wherever I go. So we have to wait till it's calculated. Okay. So that's not a bad idea, actually. I'm thinking maybe I will consider setting her as a captain. Have her mine in this sector for me. And then go off and do other things myself. And then there you go. Because I was thinking like, well, I wish I had another captain. And I could build another ship. But I'm like, wait a minute. I already have a captain. I really don't need it on the ship at this moment anyways. So why don't I go ahead and assign her uh, captain? So hello. Okay. Uh, I'm a pleasure to meet you again. Sorry again uh, for your ship. I'm still working on your compensation. As I can see, you're operating on your own instead of working with a big faction. We should work together and show them that we're not uh, as that they're not as great as they think. Will you help me? Uh, how can I help? Uh, you seem like someone who just gets back up whenever they are beaten down. Uh, no, I run them over with a bulldozer. Uh, I was looking for someone like you, actually. For what? I'm on a research mission. I want to find out where the uh, Zotan are coming from. What do you know about the Zotan? Not much. Well, you probably know that they are the scourge of the galaxy, an alien race that is attacking innocent ships and stations. Sure. I'm trying to find out where they come from if there is any way to stop them. Once you've built yourself a good ship, you, would you like to help me? Uh, yes. Great. You know what? I can give you a, uh, I can tell you're a brand new captain here. Have this. This is the subsystem for your ship. So you gave me a revealing radar booster, blah, blah, blah. 
It allows you to scan uh, scanners to scan for mass in the distant sectors. It basically finds hidden uh, sectors for you. They'll show up as yellow blips in the galaxy map. Maybe you'll find something good. Just be careful. There are pirates everywhere in those off-grid sectors. We'll see each other once you've made it further towards the center. Cool. Okay, so let's take our... You're escorting me still? Yeah, you're following me really nicely. Okay. So what we can do here is go to whatever. Mayday, mayday. Our engines are failing. That sucks. Actually, that's in our sector. Oh, here you go. Might as well get some shots off here. So we'll go for the weak one with the one chevron, I guess. Whee! See, we don't do much damage. We had two turrets, we do more damage, right? But it's not hard to get your damage up, to be fair. We're still just early. There you go. These guys are pretty slow, but I, you got them all? Oh, that one. There you go. So, yeah, we got some more. Oh, look at that. 77,000, I guess, because we did a lot more damage there. So, 77,000 credits is actually a lot. Cool. And you can see different loot drops. So, these are... There's an actual modular, like a turret or something there, which is kind of cool. Um, these ones here, like these ones that you can't pick up, those are cargo space things, more likely just scrap. Sometimes they drop like things like uh, torpedoes or legal cargo even and stuff like that. But uh, most of it will just be scrap. So we're just going to ignore it. And sometimes if it's rare stuff, you'll see it on the screen on the edges here. So you'll see like a, a blue little glow here, a green little glow. And that just means, oh, you look over there and look in the distance, more likely you'll find something. But uh, anyways, let's go over to the station here. Let's go to this one here. And we're just going to go over here. Is Lady following? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're just going to go over here. And then what you can do is, I think I read it in the thing. Was it K? No, maybe it was H. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so you can select your ships with H. It basically targets anything in your system. So you can do this and hit T. And then we're literally in that ship. We have to hit backspace to get out of the autopilot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And, oh gosh, this is really a weird ship to fly right now. What we're going to do here is go here. And we're going to upgrade the ship. So we're going to hit B. And then what we can do is save designs. And there should be like ship auto saves. Here you go. So this is our, our green one. It, it, it just adds numbers to it, right? So here's our green one. So we have enough. We just have enough titanium for this. Uh, more than enough iron, so that's good. And so we're going to apply the design here. Perfect. So there you go. This is our ship. Um, I don't know what happened there. That was a bit weird. Maybe something broke off. I don't know. But uh, anyways, and then we're going to go ahead and get a crew here. And then we're going to hire a crew. And then we're going to make sure we have what we need. So once again, we're going to go... Uh, let's do seven. So we have one less, right, for the thing. Go. and then we're gonna go back to our actually we should probably adjust this so it's a little bit more yeah uh so we should go back to our other ship for a second because i have to oh i didn't select it right there you go um and then we're gonna go over here so we're we're, we're the green fleet now huh Whee! so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in this one we're gonna move our mining turrets for now give it to it we'll just go for defensive turrets and we're also going to interact and give orders. So we're going to transfer cargo and freighters. Okay, so we're going to transfer our captain over. So that's awesome. And then might as well enter there. I guess we don't have this on automatic. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to manually set these ones. Oops, one less. There you go. And sign it automatic. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is go into build mode. And we're going to give this some mining turrets on it. Oh, look at this. So we got some other things on this thing too now. Cool. There's a mining turret there and a mining turret there. And then we can give it a defense cannon. I don't know if we have any defense slots though. No, we don't. We have lots of unarmed. Why do we have unarmed that many? Do we have a module on here? 
I'm so confused. Shouldn't we only have like... Oh, because the captain. Oh, yes. The captain gave uh, ones on there. That's right. By the way, there's something going on. Oh, no. Maybe I thought there was an attack, but I'm thinking I'm wrong. It's probably the sparks from that. Um, let's see. Maybe we should buy some miners if they're not expensive. So let's look for the equipment dock. The one I always call the module one. There it is. And let's see if they have anything worthwhile. Um, it doesn't need to be anything expensive. I just need something for turrets. There you go. Salvaging. No, they have... Oh, here you go. Mining lasers. They're pretty expensive. Oh, we can afford those, though. They're iron. Okay. We'll probably get lots of them over time, but I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to show you why. So we can set this to mine in here, which will probably be better than doing... Um, mining ops right now but what you can do is send this ship on mining ops so if we hit the map here and we take the lady and then we take uh, mining here and click this it should give us so if you mine this for one hour well, actually that's pretty good resources uh, in one hour it can get you 10 to 13 K titanium uh, or 21 to 26 uh, iron and that's not safe though you probably want safe so look at those values there so let's say almost 10k 9.9 .9. but with more lasers here it'll it'll jump up and these are pretty good lasers it look like so um, i don't know if it'll double it or anything like that but it should definitely make it a bit more oomphy so we'll tractor beam ourselves there there you go so we're gonna go trade dock here so hopefully those didn't refresh on us there you go so we're gonna buy you Oh, there you go. I guess we'll just buy those two. There you go. And then, yeah, we'll put these on as well. So we'll go B here. And then, uh, can they fit there? It looks like it. Cool. So we'll put you here and here. There you go. Now, you might as well get one defense turret on here. I don't know if this will even use it correctly, to be fair. And the front of your ship might not always be the best. So the tourists have certain dead zone turning. Oh, I see. That's cool. I did not know there would be a, a warning there. It probably will shoot through here because I've seen other ones shoot like that. So you could probably just put it like this and it will probably just fire just fine. But uh, I don't know if the AI will use that. I think if you send them on mining usually. But this is for the mining missions. One defense there will actually give it more ump. So now if we send it on a mining mission, look at this. This should be a bet better now. So... 10.8 uh, actually not as good as I expected I expected it to be a lot more uh, to be fair so now part of this is because this area isn't explored so what you could do is as far as I know is if you explore this area it will do better but the problem is ambush uh, probability is 29% because we're young we're you young stuff this is you know we, we don't have the right equipment yet for this area so they're gonna kind of kick our ass uh, this guy, too, uh, would have the same problem. Uh, he has no captain, so he can't do that. But uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set to mine. I'm going to do it 30 minutes, I guess. And then I'm going to say do just titanium. It should collect that much in that time. That's actually not too bad, to be fair. I think that's pretty fair. Oh, actually, yeah, we didn't do safe mode, which I should have done. And then you do immediate delivery so you don't have to click each one for it. Um, so you should get, what, two tooth deliveries, I guess? So 1.7 to 2.2K in 30 minutes. When you think about that, that's actually pretty bad. Um, 5.7K iron in 30 minutes, not worth it. But I kind of want to send it on its first stop. It's now, you know, let's just do it. So let's go pure titanium anyways. And there you go. It blinked out. Okay, so you probably are better to have it sector mine, to be fair. But that's fine. So we're going to go back to our ship here and uh let's see so we have we can do two arm turrets do we have auto turrets oh we do have a defensive turret slot i guess that counts up for the other one right probably yeah that's fine i wonder if that's a problem like that let's just put these guys together i guess so put you here and then so this does how much dps 6.3 oh you so you're way more dps than the other guy right to the side yeah yeah how much were you 16 oh okay you're not bad and this is 19 okay so we'll do a bit more damage now so that's cool 
Cool. Okay, so let's see here. Um, urgent delivery of unknown origin. So if you want to look at your missions, you can hit P and look at missions here. And uh, you've received a radio message or someone asking you to deliver two war robots. So this is like, okay, yeah, that's not going to happen. Don't have cargo space plus, you know, takes time. Uh, increase your ship size and processing power with the functional blocks until it supports at least four subsystems. So we're a little young on that still. And we, we can't really pirate it out, honestly, right now. We're, we're too weak. Uh, as much as I'd love to go and dodge it out with pirates, we're, we are honestly too weak. So the best thing we probably can do is still mine, but exploring is good. Um, exploring the area manually wouldn't be a bad idea. I just want to check the equipment dock here. Where is it? Am I staring at it? I don't think so. This is where you use your N key and you find, oh, there it is. Well, I'd rather do it the hard way. So how much credits we have? So you could get some better ones on here. Like these guys would be awesome. Look at that. I like to get some of those because those would make us actually do some damage. I wouldn't still last too long against pirates, but I mean, if you want to do some damage, that's how you do it. You can actually butt in, by the way. Watch this. If you butt in here, and then... Oh, I thought they would stop it right away. I guess we're going to share it, huh? Okay, so let's go ahead and trade equipment. So there's utilities, and you can sell stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's go ahead, and I think I want these guys here. No, I don't have enough. I'm just a little shy. I can get rid of this, probably. No, I want the rest. Okay, so we could get these put in here. Get rid of these now. This will be a lot better. Yeah, these guys will kick some ass. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, those will help a bit. Okay, let's go ahead and explore a bit. So, oh yeah, he gave us a module, by the way. He, remember you talked about giving us a module? He gave us this one. Um, this one does deep scanning, and if we put this in here, it leaves a bit of power. But now if we go install permanently, um, it had no more extra power usage. So it'll do a deep scan of four. Uh, but you can start seeing, like these guys will go out more, but you can also start seeing these yellow sectors which are really awesome to check out. Some of them are just perfect just for mining. Like literally, we'll have a bunch of materials there and uh, you know, you might find more titanium, things like that. Others might have little treasures and stuff. We need a special thing for that, but uh, early game anyways, it's just worth scanning or like exploring around because your ship will, uh, the ones that you send out on the mining ops and stuff, they will do better uh, basically when you do that. What is that? Oh, it's a beacon. Uh, if you're part of the Operation Exodus, then you know what to do. Good luck. <laughs> what? What's that about? Operation. Oh, this must be like a galaxy quest. So I think this is like a somewhat important one. You should. You found a beacon with a cryptic message for all participants. So-called Operation Exodus messages. Okay. So I guess this is like one of those ones that you'll probably find around. So this is a container field here. I don't know what they call them, but you know. This is an asteroid field. There's a bunch of containers as well. So I call it a container field. And the idea about this is basically um, you could, some of these, like there might only be one or two in all of them, but what, you can open them up. But the problem is you don't know which one, but later on you can actually get a module that'll help you determine that. So we're still young and early game, right? But um, still worth jumping around, by the way, looking for those big asteroids because, well, those big asteroids are worth a lot. So keep an eye out if you can. I mean, we almost missed the one in the first system, so. You might not see it right now. You can get, you can scan for those too later on too, I think, so. No, I think that's just, uh what's under it but yeah it's just not uh yeah it's just that's a hidden aura one i'm pretty sure actually so see that 
that's perfect hidden ore one. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost guarantee you that'd be a hidden ore. Hidden ore isn't like really special. It's just more like there's more ores here that you just don't see, right? And they're hidden in the sensor just behind that. And they're a little denser and stuff, which is awesome. But but yeah, we're just going to jump around and we're exploring. Like, that's what we're going to do here. Let's see what we can find. I like to explore the green ones, too. The green ones are like the civilized space, right? Like, probably the faction that we started in will be owning part, a big part of the territory around here. And, you know, knowing all their space is really helpful. Oh, yeah, look at this. Container fields sometimes contain secure containers. might be helpful. Oh, there's another one of those. Come on, can I select you from here? I don't know if there's a way to area select nearby. I don't think so, but I wish there was. I'm using my middle mouse button, by the way, to do it. Mayday, mayday, we're ambushed. Our hyperdrive's no longer, blah, blah. Oh, they lost. So that might have a ship nearby it. Yeah, there wasn't a quest. Look how many asteroids are in this thing. 32,000 or 3,239. That's a lot of asteroids. Maybe there's a big one in here somewhere, huh? Oops, N key. Not seeing anything. Holy crap, look how. Thick they get over here. Oh, there's a big one right there. There you go. That's like probably almost 200,000 for us right there. And I think they go in value the more north you go. We're, we're still very south and I don't even know if we went up at all yet. So, you know, one, one sector might actually not notice anything. Oh, these are large. This thing right here, this is a large um, Iron deposit. I'm not going to click it because I want to keep target on the other one. But basically, uh, this just has a lot more iron in it. It's like a large asteroid, but just a solid thing of iron. So this could have like 10k plus iron in it. I'm not saying it does, but you know, just giving out a random number. But it does contain and hold a lot of iron, which is pretty cool. And I think as you get closer to the center, the denser they get too. So the the more you, like you know you find something like that, it's like well that that's worth a lot, you know. Okay. Oh, I used up all my power. Didn't even realize that. <laughs> it's just the weak ship for now. Let's check this one out here. So we'll get up close to this one. There you go. We'll claim it and then we'll sell it. 196,000. Damn. There you go. So that'll give us more money, which is good. We definitely needed the extra money. So, okay, let's keep going here. Whoa, what's going on here? There you go. We good? Let's jump to another yellow here. Um, we follow the blue, don't we? Just be quite careful when you're charging up hyperspace and zooming through this. You don't like hit an asteroid on your way there or or it might not work out so well for you. Nice another big field here. There's pretty pretty large rocks here. <laughs> Let's see if we can find like a big one that we can actually sell though. See anything up there? I could easily miss it too, but it's not a big deal. No, I don't think there's one here, but I wouldn't guarantee. I'm not gonna guarantee it, but there was a bigger one here. But I think no, that was just a regular. Yeah, it's just regular. Those those asteroid ones seem to be almost always like very similar shape to them. Like you almost identically. Like the second you click it. And you look at the picture down here, you can like just guarantee, okay, that's one or that's not one. I'm gonna say I don't see one here right now, so yeah, I think that's a bust. But good places to mine, but keep in mind here, there who's here to defend you? No one. There there is not a single soul in the system. 
and pirates will eventually jump to you and that's kind of the problem if they jump to you and you're not there to defend yourself well you see the problem boom cool did we jump into green i guess i guess we did but anyway so this is a civilized sector here obviously so this i think this means all like some special quest here bulletin board new opportunities yeah uh i need somebody oh yeah this is black market izzy stuff i don't want to do the dlc stuff right now so i'm going to ignore that for now um eventually i probably want to do that but it is related to black market dlc and I assume it's based on wherever you are in the system. So if you do it here, it'll be a little easier. If you go way further in, I'm assuming you get more challenging ones. I'd just rather do it later, right? So, well, here's a drill factory. They apparently sell drills. So you can buy this for 23. If we had a module, we can actually see what these are worth. But, you know, you can buy these at 23 and then somebody else might need them, right? And then you can sell them at, uh, yeah, lower. So let's see, trade goods, mining robots. So they, they, okay, they're a factory of it. Yeah, so keep an eye on them. Uh, drill was 23, mining robots, 158 each. Wow, those are pretty heavy costs there. So if we find somewhere that uh, has the need for uh, the actual drills, you could buy them and then sell them there for a better price. There's gates here too. I guess we could check out some of the gates for fun. Let's Let's cancel this or whatever. How do you cancel that? I don't know if there is a way to actually cancel it. Let's go to this one then, and it'll probably cancel when we go through the gate. So there's gates around here. I'm trying to find, there it is. Put your coordinates there, it's probably gonna be close to it. So here you go. They tell you where they are. So they self gate to empowering vengeance uh, two. So these are the same as hyperspace. I don't wanna actually go to hyperspace accidentally there. I guess it's going to eat a lot of power because it's trying to hyperspace each time. <laughs> but what I want to do is go through the gate instead. There's a fee on it, though. Yeah, 21. Now, those fees are higher if you're not good with uh, the local factions. So they could be probably 1,000 credits even, I, or maybe even further. I don't know. Maybe when you're closer to the center, they get more expensive, too. I don't know. It, basically, this whole game is based on going to the center. The closer to the center you go... The more expensive things get, the harder things get, the more power you can get, you know, like it's just, you know, better ores you can get. It's it's basically based on that. Well, that's cool. What is this turret thing? Build turrets. Oh yeah, I've heard about this. I've never done this. Creating blueprints and then you take the parts and it sounds really cool. It's something I look forward to trying out one day. I never, I didn't check these systems out, by the way, because this could easily have a large mission fail. Well, it didn't fail because I never accepted it, to be honest. You should say ex mission expired or whatever, because just because somebody yells out, I need help, and you add it to my mission log doesn't mean I have accepted it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's some big guys down there, but not the ones that we're looking for. We're not the roids I'm looking for. I think we're pretty good for not finding a big one here. But yeah, that's the gates. And the gates are all, as far as I know, all the gates are connected. Like, you could just ride out the gates. And as far as I know, like, all the civilized societies are all connected by gates. So, like, they'll have a gate to another part of society that they don't even like. Well, here's one of your shipment yields. So they just gave me yeah, 900 titanium there. So they, they they can basically, they'll connect to a civilization they don't even like, you know, uh, that they're even at war with possibly. But basically, I think all the gates are like a spider web throughout the entire galaxy. And they're just, they're all interconnected, which I think is pretty damn cool. I'm having power issues, obviously, there. Oopsies. <laughs> takes for a bit for it to recover when you overexert it. There it goes. I'm sorry. I'm 
It's going nice and slow. This is kind of why I like jumping more, to be fair. But uh, I think once you get faster ships, you can zoom through gates pretty fast. So here's a mining thing. So it probably could have taken those mining drills, I'm guessing. So let's see. Trade goods. Oh, uh, oh, Celta faction. Yeah, here you go. So drills. Here you go. 22. So I guess they're not going to give. What are they? 22 as well, or like 21? More than likely, the reason they're not doing well here is because they're pretty close to that other system. But this is why you would want to use um, like a heat map for it. There's there's an actual module and everything for it. But then you can see and like, oh, 24. So there you go. You can make maybe a couple a thousand on that but you know it's it's not a lot but that's the whole point of this like the heat map stuff now i guess i should look for another captain to be honest hire crew so lost friend here you go this is the lost friend quest i'm not going to do this now because we'd probably get our ass handed to us because i'm pretty sure you have to fight some guys off for this but this is going to give you a tier three captain and it says right there profession minor. So this is, you can get tier, no tier, tier one and tier two, basically from the stations. Uh, I say no tier cause I think they're just not specialized or something. But anyways, the, the tier, the tier three is always through this quest here. So lost friend. So I'm going to grab that, even though I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, because, like I said, we wouldn't be able to solo it, but later on we would be able to. Wait, what are you doing over here? Wait. You can actually spy on your... Sh what? i never seen this before. I did not know this was a feature. What? There she is mining. I think they do that for fun. Like, it's, you know, like they'll do that from time to time, but I don't think that's, you know... A requirement but that is so cool hi lady no wonder you don't get any well like you, you can mine that a lot faster normally but you're gonna be slow and giving me very little ores huh this is why setting her to just say hey okay go ahead and auto mine this place would be better anyways let's look for those uh, higher crew here so we got you we got you. okay here's a miner tier two so unarmed turrets, blah, blah, blah. This is perfect. I don't care. Uh, so we'll ha oh, we have to go to them. But this will give us another uh, captain we can put in this or even another ship and then send them off. That's the whole point. Okay, now we can build a second ship or a third ship. And then you got this fleet of ships doing your thing. Now you have to be careful because eventually it's not going to be worth it, right? You, gotta, you don't want to scam yourself into the point it's not worth it. But if I set another captain here to mine this system for example it wouldn't be actually not it would be pretty worth it because if you just set them to a single system they're going to bring in more money than they chew out right so but uh let's go hire crew we'll hire the captain there you go because uh, you have to remember that captain when we go to i here they, they have a cost to keep up right so every three hours that's how you pay out okay every three hours it will cost us thirty two thousand uh crew salary to keep this ship going and then of course your other one as well and that adds up to a lot over time so i don't know if there's like a list of oh here's your fleet is there a list oh yeah total salary sixty-seven thousand five hundred every every two hours or sorry every three hours real life hours so it's not terrible but if you just have them idling not doing anything you're wasting your money and there is no making them cheaper really um because you can't just tell your captain to go sleep or whatever as far as i know so you're, you're basically wasting all your precious you know your costs there but hey now what i can do is set this guy to go around mining this system or whatever other system uh while my other one's on the missions or i can set them both into the same system things like that so as long as you think they're pretty safe, you the, the best way to tell a system is safe is obviously this is a newbie area, so you shouldn't get pummeled too much. But this is where you you know you're safe. The Corvettes here, as long as there's a few of them or several of them in this case, you don't have to worry. So uh, more likely, what I'll do is I'll head back up to our thing here, and I think I might build a second. Well, we'll see. I think I'm building a second one off camera but i probably will i'll probably just go and buy myself some mining turrets and then fit them on here and then i might even come back here i just noticed this has some good materials here right so i might do that for fun 
Um, but mostly I'm just going to go ahead and just do some mining and stuff. And then when we come back, uh, we'll continue on from there. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh, look at this. I like this. Uh, oh, hey, Commander. Uh, hey, Commander, making sure I'm doing everything right. Because when you spy, I don't like being monitored at work. Yeah, because when you're like looking at the interfaces of your, your other ships, they, they, they think they're being spied on, I guess. So we're being naughty. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.